Hey guys, it's Scott W4 here, bringing you my new YouTube series idea. Basically, this is just your normal My Player type series, except the only difference is I will be playing goals for Birmingham City. As you can see on the screen there, I'm just creating my player. But yeah, I chose Birmingham City because they have another youth goalkeeper in uh, Jack Butland. So it'll be interesting to see who gets picked for what games, etc. And obviously, straight away, I get listed for loan, which is pretty unfortunate. But I've decided I'm going to stick it out after rejecting all the loans up until the first game, just to see if I was starting. As you can see, I didn't. That was the first one I got, but I actually got so many like every single maybe every three days or something but yeah as you can see I did actually get picked for the first game up against the Spanish side here it was actually in all honesty it was a really really boring game but I just thought I'd t talk to you a bit more about how I'm going to play goals obviously I'm not going to be like running up the pitch or anything like that but I will be a sort of ball playing goalkeeper in which I'll try and bring the sort of total football aspect to whatever team I'm at but it was actually us that got the game off to an okay start here we got the first chance it was the 24th minute and it was Marlon King and it came in off or it came back off the underside of the bar and they actually managed to clear it eventually but yeah we were put piling on the pressure and I was kind of hoping for some attack I mean Obviously I can try and control the attacks with the AYX thing, but I don't really do that because what's the point? Obviously just let the AI do their own thing. But yeah, Keith Fahey's shot there dragged wide, and in the 45th minute we were called into action. Their striker sides are with a pretty poor shot in reality, but it was well cleared by our defenders and we preserved our clean sheet for half time. Then obviously, yeah, I thought I'd give you an example of what I meant by a ball playing goalkeeper. I mean, here the defenders got nowhere really to look for, so I just thought I'd call it and then spread the play out wide to the other side, and obviously played it into the midfielder there. Only downside when being a ball playing goalkeeper, as I'm naming it now, is that sometimes it can go wrong due to poor touches like that, and you smash it off the striker. But our defence managed to carry it for us and the game ended 0-0 versus Racing Santander and our next game was against Wigan and I was, again I was eager to see if I was going to start or if he'd pick Jack Butland but it was me that actually started again and yeah you can see I got some accomplishments there, I'm 67 rated so far. Got six point seven match rating there, and obviously got strength plus one. And I did start. We play, we were against Wigan, who obviously being a Premier League side meant that they were probably going to be the stronger opponents. And that certainly proved throughout the game, as they were always pressuring us, and they were always putting me under great pressure here. DeSanto on the seventh minute, that was an okay save, just covered the near post because it's obviously so OP. But yeah, in the fortieth minute, some nice passing play from some of our midfielders led to a chance on goal here. Uh, that's Nathan Redmond. Sorry about the player names, by the way, but uh, Marlon King's header was saved by Ali Alhabsi and Morgaro Gomez couldn't uh, got the header in even on the second attempt. But yeah, talking about the player names, I have changed it for the future episodes. I just didn't realise at the time of recording the first few that obviously I can't see who it is that's on the ball. So I've just sort of got a guess just their building height or whatever. But yeah, DeSanto actually came through here and I thought the ref would give a penalty here because sometimes they are given, but I managed to smother the ball nicely and then they just released it and that was half time. In the second half, Wigan came out all guns blazing here. They were just piling on the pressure and there were just so many waves of attack. Aruna Coney here breaking through but that was a great save there and I don't know what happened at the second part. That was due to bad positioning even though I got a stat eh, an accomplishment, sorry. But yeah the corner came in and I decided to come and collect it and I did that perfectly. Obviously with me playing goals I'm looking to try and maybe start some quick counter attacks due to long throws or punts but that wasn't the one that time. Rio Miach this time crossed the ball unfortunately for me it hit off the under, uh, the crossbar that was really lucky for me straight over my head and I didn't really know what to do but fortunately enough I wasn't even paying attention there and Aruna Kone actually missed. So that was the 71st minute and we were still 1-0 up and yeah I basically just were holding on for our dear lives and the boys played really well but Obviously with Curtis Davis and Pablo Ibanez in defence, it's not really the most solid, so I have got to be on guard most of the time. And that was well collected there. Then in the 90th minute, I thought I'd be smart and try and boot the ball all the way up to the other end of the pitch. But I actually booted it out. And Rio Miachi took a quick throw in into Franco, Franco Di Santo's foot, or feet. And he played it into Boselli, who then found Aruna Kone, who then found Jean Bozajor. And Bozajor managed to sneak one in at the near post. Look at me, I'm absolutely devastated on the ground. Pretty lucky goal in my opinion. I mean, I probably should have covered the near post a bit better but that was probably just due to my low rating and as you can see I was absolutely devastated by that but the boys were giving me some credit and they were giving me some confidence by uh, a lot of compliments etc and obviously that I also got man of the match there with an 8.7 match rating and yeah I got another loan offer and obviously I'm just going to reject that I didn't show you them all but the last game of this episode guys is against Borussia Dortmund what a team to face in a pre-season friendly at the age of 17 
And yeah, the Wigan uh, the sorry, the Birmingham manager decided to start me again, and he was probably repaid just due to some errors and might have made in this game, but didn't weren't really that costly. Bissing court here, breaking through one on one, and I made a great save here, and one of my defenders manages to clear it. Then again, just before half time, Borussia Dortmund broke through again. Uh, Lewandowski here on the wing carrying the ball and then he found Bittencourt who then somehow managed to sneak a ball through into back Loraz. I made the first save, I got up, made the second save from Bittencourt and then my defenders an absolute stramash in the box and it ended up with Bittencourt f uh, finishing it in off the post. So that was 1-0 and the boys heads went down when we are 1-0 down to the future Champions League finalists in this season. Uh, but yeah, obviously we couldn't really complain. I mean, we played well, we had a few shots, but in reality we were pretty weak up front. But I managed to punch the ball away there straight to Mario Goza, who was just inside our own half. Then Gunter here found back Bender, and Bender then found Marco Royce, who somehow managed to score. I think I dived past the ball there. That was pretty poor goalkeeping. Definitely expecting to get dropped in the next game, but hopefully the manager sees since. That'll be the end of the episode, guys. I'm now 68 rated, and I managed to get an 8.1 rating there. Thanks for watching. Bye.